Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing swatches and review of the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. You might have seen me use this quite a lot in recent tutorials. I've also talked about this on my Instagram quite a lot. Normally, I'm not a matte foundation person. I want my skin to be quite dewy and glowy. But during the summer, I realized that my face was getting really oily with some of the dewier foundations I was using. They were also feeling just really heavy on my skin. So I switched to this one and this has worked so well for me both in the summer as well as now in the monsoon season. Uh, the thing I love about this is that uh, in humidity, in heat, this doesn't melt off my face. It stays on really well. This promises 24 hours of wear. I haven't actually worn it for 24 hours at a stretch, but I have worn it all day and up to 15, 16 hours, this stays really well without smudging without transferring i would say this is a medium to full coverage foundation but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin like a lot of other full coverage foundations i have tried previously this feels very breathable very light it is oil free uh, it has a very soft matte finish it's not like a dry matte so uh, it feels just very lightweight yet gives you a very nice fresh clean look i think the packaging is quite sleek it's a tube it's very travel friendly it doesn't spill or leak when you travel with this so i do like the packaging quite a lot in terms of consistency this is neither too watery nor too thick or creamy it's just the perfect in between consistency it's very blendable blends really easily doesn't leave any kind of patchiness on the skin i find it very simple and quick uh, to apply this foundation on my skin another thing that i really like about this foundation is that it doesn't uh, give you that very dry leathery appearance a lot of matte foundations can end up looking very cakey they can make your skin just look very dry and undernourished and i don't like that kind of look at all despite being a matte finish this is just a very soft natural looking finish it doesn't make your skin look dry and that's a big win for me now let's move on to the swatches and the application there are eight shades in the foundation i really think that we need a few more shades this is such a fabulous foundation and i do hope the brand expands the shade range to cover some deeper skin tones as well let's get started with the swatches this is the shade 101 this is the shade 102 this is the shade 103, this is the shade 104, this is the shade 105, this is the shade 106 which is a really good match for me, this is the shade I use on myself. Next we have 107 and 108 which is the last shade. I would love to see a few more darker shades to be added to this range to cover all skin tones. So those were the swatches. Now let's get started with the application. I'm starting with clean, moisturized skin, taking a little bit of foundation on the back of my hand. I'm just using my beauty blender to tap and blend it into my skin. As you can see, not a lot of product is needed. Just a small amount gives really good coverage. It's also really blendable. I don't need to spend a lot of time blending it in each area of the face. Just a few taps with the blender and it blends into a nice even finish. I'm applying a little bit more in the under eye area just to give a little more coverage. It's also a buildable foundation so you can build up coverage in certain areas where you feel you need a little more. Now if you have extremely oily skin, you can use a powder over this because I have combination skin and this gives me pretty good oil control, I'm not using a powder here. And to finish off the look, I'm going to use the Rouge Signature Lipstick in the shade I Amaze and I'm using this on my lips as well as on my cheeks just to add a nice warm flush of colour. And that is the finished look. So that is my review of the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation by L'Oreal Paris. Like the packaging, like the consistency, like how blendable it is. Love the staying power. 
the only thing that I wish uh, that could be improved is the shade range but apart from that this is an amazing foundation especially for a climate like India where there's high heat and humidity so if you're looking for something that's long wearing especially in the monsoons I would highly recommend this foundation to you and that's all for this video thank you so much for watching I will see you soon in my next one bye